What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist. And today we're going to be going over a card set that, um, I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with this one, but um, <clears throat> pretty small character, Dark Child. Um, she pretty much has her like uh, standalone sets uh, from Chrome. And let's find out a little bit more. Um, I have the cell sheet here. So, sheet. <clears throat> uh, this set came out in 1997 and produced by Chrome. Uh, Dark Child, Chromium Trading Cards. Some girls just look better in metal, okay? <clears throat> Let me see what it says. Chrome Productions and Randy Queen have joined forces to bring you the most eagerly anticipated trading card series of 1997, Dark Child Chromium Trading Cards, hot from the pages of the best-selling image comics, uh, Dark Child. <clears throat> it's a unique horror tale that combines elements of romance, humor, and suspense. This incredible 50 card series features the first appearance of all new Dark Child characters, as well as beautiful artwork by the incomparable Randy Queen and other top talents who bring Ariel Child, Cold Drawn, Nightmare Links, and the World of Dark Child to, um, <clears throat> all right, guys, um, I really don't know much about this set or this character. And of course, the only reason I bought it is because um, I wanted to complete a, um, a <clears throat> master set for this one. And of course, uh, she's wearing skimpy outfits. Um, <laughs> but anyway, besides that, uh, let's see what this uh, set has to offer. They got four chromium cards and one parallel holochrome uh, per pack. And you have randomly inserted autograph cards, uh, 32 full pa packs per box, 12 boxes per case. And I think that's about all the information we have. <clears throat> but um, I do have a lot of other stuff for this card set. And as you guys can see here, we have the binder. So the binder is, um, <clears throat> it's chromium. I don't know if it's doesn't really look uh, chromium on camera but uh, maybe it's just the camera I don't really know but um it is it is chromium I don't know why it doesn't look chromium I guess um under the a lot of direct lighting like uh, with this light it doesn't stand out as much but <clears throat> it is chromium so in fact uh, most of it is chromium except for the bottom so the bottom is just like a normal binder so anyway, let's get started with this episode and the first cards I have for her are mega cards which are preview cards and if you guys there didn't know there are three types and it comes with six cards and they look like this. This is one, two, three. Um, I think the size was uh, four by six for the mega cards if I remember correctly um I did a sleeves uh channel where I showed you all the card sleeves that I had and yeah if I remember correctly it was uh four by six um <clears throat> but anyway uh four five and six and the last uh two cards five and six form a bigger image so <clears throat> what I do find about um what I don't like about chrome cards is that over time, they tend to turn, actually any chromium card, they tend to turn uh, into different colors. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but you could already see some uh, greening. Uh, like she's supposed to be all like this color, but some of her colors changing into yellowish green. But this one still has a pretty good color in it. So, <clears throat> And then here we have what they call the uh, refractor set. So for this, it has that pattern that are <clears throat> like checkered yeah so yeah this one was your normal holochrome I'm sorry not holochrome um chromium and then this one is your <clears throat> holochrome or refractor ho holochrome but yeah I like this one better because of that rainbow effect <clears throat> let's see if the color says change see as you guys can see like um she's like really really light here and then she's like uh, more reddish in the other picture so <clears throat> let 
then we move on to our next set oh, she's really yellow there like uh let's see if i could do a direct comparison <coughs> yeah look at the difference like this is supposed to be the same card but uh yeah uh sh she lost her tan <laughs> So maybe she hasn't been uh, seeing enough sunlight because I kept her in the binder. I don't know, but definitely a uh, different coloring. And then the third kind we have is the clear chrome. So pretty much if you guys are not familiar with the clear chrome, it's um, <clears throat> one of those see-through, but it has a refractor foil in the back so that uh, it's supposed to see like a rainbow effect, but <clears throat> it's also see-through but it's hard to see through the light i didn't think it would be this difficult to see them but but yeah these are the clear chrome <clears throat> and here is the final set so you have three sets the chromium the holochrome or refractor and this uh clear chrome uh let's see which color matches this one so <clears throat> i guess my refractor is uh really different in color because the clear chrome and the chromium almost looks alike in color. But I didn't really notice that at first. But I guess when, you know, <clears throat> I don't mind it too much. Uh, they're not like expensive cards. So I could probably replace it. And then uh, here is a preview set with uh, comes in six cards. And pretty much you buy this as a pack. And it comes in, <clears throat> it should be here somewhere. I don't know if... Uh, it must be in my other binder, but pretty much you get this six cards and you get this uh, certificate of authenticity. So pretty much it's just called the <clears throat> Dark Child Premiere Preview Chrome's uh, card set uh, out of 1500, 337. <clears throat> and it's 2001. 2001? Is that right? How is this the preview? When this is like, it, it said 1997, right? <clears throat> but anyway, uh, it's, it might be a preview for comic books or. Yeah, this is uh, 1997. So I guess the preview came later, but <clears throat> um, it's dynamic forces. Is that, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it's Dynamic Forces, and I know they came out with a bunch of preview cards, but maybe I just never noticed uh, what year they were, because uh, they have a lot of other ones, like Red Sona, Fathom, and um, who else? Uh, like, a bunch of other ones, so... I guess I, I thought this was, like, uh, the year before 1997. I thought this was 1996, but I guess... um. It's advertising for a different uh, set that maybe never came out. <clears throat> but it doesn't look like we have any drawing or any numbers in the back. And it also looks like we don't have... Uh, the year is also different. It's 2000 while the authenticity is 2001. <clears throat> yeah, I hate it when they do that. Like uh, different years for like the set it's from it's like why is this 2001 and what is this uh 2000 but anyway we'll move on from the preview set and get to our actual set <clears throat> so if you guys didn't know this is a 50 card set and there are four different um uh variants to this and those four <clears throat> which i'll show you card uh whatever this is pretty much your basic card will have uh, just a chromium front and pretty much a picture. They're not really uh, They don't really have words or much of like anything else. So you got your chromium front and then you got like a dark child chromium trading cards and like uh, Pretty much just wording and then this is number nine and That's that's about all we could see and it's you know from image chrome and pretty much this is your base card and then this is the sticker card that they were talking about and <clears throat> what i like about the sticker cards um nice and simple 1997 the number dark child and the same picture except um it has the holocron effect on it <clears throat> and then there's also 
I will show you guys the variants. One of the variants is the clear chrome. And the clear chrome um, looks like this. Pretty much it's the... Usually it's a chase set for um, like either Evil Ernie or Lady Dad, but uh, they have it here too as a whole set. Uh, this probably came from a hot box, um, usually what they call it, but I'm not really sure as um, I purchased it from someone and I'm not sure how they acquired it. So, But yeah, typical um, clear chrome. And then the last type is... Um, I'm not sure exactly how its origins are as well because I bought it online, but it is the holochrome, I'm sorry, the refractor uh, holochrome version of the card, uh, the regular card. So pretty much it's like a regular card, except it has the, <clears throat> the rainbow foil effect that you guys see on the sticker. I'm not sure if this is uh, like a, one of those anniversary set, like in Lady Death, it has a commemorative set. Um, when I purchased this, like it wasn't labeled or anything and you barely see this online. So I just happened to see it and I was like, oh, I'm buying that. It's like a holochrome set. <clears throat> so yeah, and pretty much that's about it for the, uh, the Dark Child. Uh, 50 cards, four different, uh, or one base and three different parallels. And I'll show you guys the whole set. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said before, a lot of uh, these cards have, um, a lot of chromium cards have that yellowing effect so it's such a bummer too because you know they're beautiful cards but um i guess it's just uh um time since uh, all of my collections are pretty much uh new um i only started collecting three years ago so um i'm not really sure how these cards look when they were purchased um probably without the yellowing i don't know I'm not really sure if uh, how people store their cards. I know some people like to uh, <clears throat> show around their cards, but me personally, I put everything in a box. Like, uh, pretty much have like the least amount of sunlight or uh, um, least amount of exposure to anything. That's why I like a double sleeve all my cards and and all of that stuff. But yeah, it's um. I just I just love collecting uh, possibly also just to complete the collection so maybe not even like the character that much but it's a uh, almost half naked girl so I guess um, I had to collect it <laughs> and uh, the last card is your checklist that uh, shows you <clears throat> the cards and also there is a chase uh clear chrome chase card which are six cards and i'll show you guys those now so this is probably the last six <coughs> yeah i put um my base and my sticker together so <laughs> but you do see the holochrome it's kind of hard to get the effect on camera though but um normal chromium and holochrome that's why like um i had a hard time buying these because sometimes you know when they take a picture online and uh you look at it it doesn't look um like it's the like this version so you gotta like uh i think if you're a seller and you're trying to sell like a holochrome set you want to like make sure you see that yellowish um rainbow color when you take the picture that way they know like like that because uh, you can't really get those uh, gamut of colors um, with these. So, but anyway, um, <clears throat> here are the clear chromes. This is uh, card number one. Clear chrome chase card number one. A it's actually just looking at you the whole time. Except here. That's creepy, actually. It's like she's always looking at you. <laughs> clear chrome number two. Or clear chrome chase number two. Artist Randy Queen. And this one is clear chrome number three. Artist Jeff Pitarelli. 
Yeah, it's all um, same exact image front and back. <coughs> and clear chrome chase number four. See her legs are like super yellow. Artist Mike Chang. Number five, is that an octopus or a squid? Uh, Tony Daniel. I think he's the same guy that did uh, Creed. And then we have number six, artist Steve Virchow. <clears throat> and not but not least, I'll show you guys uh, the preview Oh, I also have, um, if you guys didn't know either, I like to uh, collect magazines and then look for clippings and, or comic books and look for like trading cards, um, like almost like soul sheet, but, um, this one is from, of course, this is the soul sheet and then this is from a magazine. It, it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's like a a, a soul sheet but you know it's not like the the uh, whatever this magazine size is but um <clears throat> here's another ooh, um mega card preview set advertisement it's funny how there's a mega card preview set advertisement for mega dark child but there's no actual mega dark child cards and if you guys didn't know, um, those preview mega cards come in six and they are um, <clears throat> enclosed in this. Of course, uh, this folds that way and then you could fold it and it holds those six cards. Um, the way you will know when you first purchase these is uh, it'll have a label. If it's non-labeled like this, it's your chromium set. And then it'll have a either say clear chrome or... Um, Maybe it was called um, holochrome or hyperchrome. I don't remember, but uh, I don't. I feel like it wasn't labeled refractor. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, you guys saw the three different sets that I had. So, and then here we have your preview cards, which are also um, holochrome. And this is card Mega One of Three. Um, I'm not sure what the other two are, but they're not a uh, dark child. Maybe it's like Lady Death or something. I uh, have to check that out. And then your other uh, promo, which is a shorter version of um, the Mega Cards. <clears throat> but anyway, that is pretty much all I have for Dark Child. And I think this is pretty much a master set. I am missing like a one or two uh, clear chrome card, but besides that, um, I think if you have those four different, uh, those one base set and the three parallel sets, um, and all the preview, the three preview sets, you're you're good to go with this set. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy collecting, and I will see you guys on the next episode. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.